Hello, welcome to the class of HTML5 programming. So today we are we are going to discuss about how to declare style element using CSS embedded method. So in previous class we have discussed about the inline method and now we are using the embedded style method to declare the different properties in the HTML program. So in previous example we have added style attribute to only single heading but what if we need it to configure the style for 10, 20 paragraphs? So if we use the inline method, we have to repeat the same code multiple times, which is a time consuming and the lengthy process. So the solution for this problem is by using the embedded CSS method. So in embedded CSS method, we are using the style element to declare the different properties or different color properties. So here in this program, I am using the embedded CSS embedded style. So there is a change in this hat section and the body section is same declared as same like in the previous uh, previous classes. But in inline method we are making the changes in this body section. Here we are using the style attribute but now in this embedded method here we are using the style as the element. So in head section, we have to declare this style element. This is style opening tag and this one is the closing tag. And in between this uh, style tag, we have to declare the color property or the different properties. So here I am using the color property for the body section. So this body section here, I am using the background color and this for the foreground color. So background color is declared as the these are the hexadecimal value for the different color. So background color is declared in the dark salmon color and the foreground color is declared as the dark red color. So this style attribute must be located in the hat section. So after that, when we will run this program, it will be seen like this in the browser. So this it sets the background color of the web page to the dark salmon color, color and the foreground color to the dark red color. So in body section here we are only declaring the heading tag and the paragraph tag. So in heading tag we have declared its content and in paragraph uh, tag we are here also we have declared the paragraph for that. And the whole style part or the style to declare the style part we are using the the style tag in the head section. So this is how we can add the embedded CSS embedded style in HTML program. So the styles are in fact for the entire web page document because they were applied to the body tag using the body element selector. So here the body is as the selector and this the curly bracket part is as the declaration part. So now we can use the another example for this embedded style like here so this is a program where we are using a loads of code to make a large website so in this we are using the style attribute style element in the head section so in style element i have declared this uh, the background color and the foreground color for various parts like for the body part, for the header part, for the heading h2 tag and for the footer part. So as we will run this program, go to run and launch in Chrome. So it will be uh, seen like this in the browser. So for the body tag here it declare the background color and the foreground color. So background color is this light cyan color and the foreground color is in this maroon color. After that, it's setting the header, header color properties. For header, it will changes the appearance of this heading tag that is telcoma global. So it will be appear like this. Next, it will it declare the color property for h2 heading tag. For this, this h2 heading tags. So here you can see that it's changing the appearance of both these two heading tags differently and after that here in this style element here I declared the color property for this footer part 
therefore it will be declared in this dark blue color so so this is all about the how to declare the uh, how to declare the style element in css embedded method thank you